welcome to something I haven't done before on the YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be doing just a random casual game that I found, and we're going to see what I can teach you guys from it. Uh, I'm not familiar with these settings. It's 70% on French Revolution, I think it was, right? Right? No, it's on the regular world map, so it's 70%. Now, we do obviously want to take Australia, turn one, um, and we want to get them under so many territories, so they got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, so we will, of course, take Australia, turn one, because that's just what you do. And there we go. So we have that on lock. And then we'll start taking over south and Africa. So he goes for this position, right? Sure does. But does he do anything else? Does he know to take as many territories as he can? So, when you're in 1v1s, you want to kind of feel out your player. Um, a 1v1 in 70% ends really quick, so be warned. So now I have to break him of two bonuses is good on his part, but I should be able to break him of Australia, assuming he doesn't fortify. Um, we'll kind of see how that goes, though. He fortified down there, so... This is kind of what we're going to do. So obviously, we can't let him have Australia never let them keep the bonus. You may be like, oh, well, no. You just can't. Um, if we can get a lucky roll on that, that will be great for us. Because, let's see, 50-50. Um, you want to block them off from their other troops. Now, we are first in the turn rotation, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, whoever gets first trade normally will get a huge advantage. Uh, we already have two artillery, so hopefully we get another or a joker. Um, I don't think he goes for Ontario, though. What is the turn time? 120 second turn timer. So he made it so speed is not valuable in this game mode. Uh, and 70%, realistically, if you get one bonus, you win, at least in a 1v1. Like, you can see we're getting really close to someone keeping that. If he's smart, he moves his two to North Africa, which he should. Uh, but he put it all there, so that's interesting. So we get five. Uh, we'll take that out, and... We'll just kind of see what we can do from here. We're at 52%. It's not quite enough yet do what we want to. Did we get, so we do get the trade. Um, realistically, that's about as good of a thing as we could have happen. 
Because he's going to smack through all of that, right? All those ones, as he should. And he might get the win here, but if he doesn't, there's a really high likelihood that we do. Uh, most of his board is ones. It's 70%. So, each terror... Ooh. Why would you choose to do that? You see all your ones around here, right? You know why that's an issue, don't you? This is 70%, bud. Are you not aware of the game mode we're playing? You've just given me the win. So, when you're playing 70%, it's not about troop generation. He's playing this, like, world dumb. Uh, simple mistake, but... I'm pretty sure this turn we win. Because we get five troops, we get ten more, right? That can pop, pop, so those will all pop in there. So, all we realistically have to do... That's 54. and we win so that's kind of, I mean I don't know how much I taught you guys but when you're in 70% just know this never leave all ones across the board and try and treat it like world dom now if that was a regular 1v1 of world dom he would have had a very good hand and I would have just kind of jeopardized myself but the way the game was laid out I definitely had the advantage um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and definitely stay tuned. We're going to have some updates coming to the channel soon, and in the very near future, like a couple weeks from now, you might see this background go away. Maybe it gets better. Who knows? But um, appreciate you guys tuning in. See you guys in your next video. Peace.